Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video, we will learn one of the most awesome feature available in Microsoft Excel that is Excel tables. And there are a lot of advantages of Excel tables. So let's get started. I have opened a file, Excel tables, uh, which contain a database. So it's basically a sales database where you can see there are different columns available. Order ID, order date, customer ID. So all those commonly available columns which a sales manager or a salesperson uh, maintains or an organization maintains uh, such as product name, payment type, category, uh, again unit price, uh, their quantity sold, how much revenue has been generated. So all these common columns are there. Now if uh, this is a normal sort of data and what if, if we just select the entire data set and uh, if I go to the insert and when I click on table, the shortcut key is Control T. So make sure that uh, you check mark my table as headers because as you know that the data set, the first row of the data set contains the headers and press OK. So once you press OK, it will automatically turn um, by default a blue theme color. But more importantly, when you convert a normal range into a table format, uh, you get a, an additional tab enabled on top right side as you can see here, table design. Okay, so if you are using some earlier versions, you will see a design tab, whereas in the latest version, it is called table design. Now, you have certain uh, features available in this here. Uh, for example, in future, if you want to resize or if, if you add a column on, on left side of the table or uh, by default, right side columns already picked as a range of a table, but when you insert something on the left side, it does not pick. So you can resize the table range from here, okay? And you can redefine the range. The next, next thing is that uh, if you want to convert back this table into a normal range, you, you have this feature available in the table design tab, which is convert to range. So it will again convert that to normal, okay? Whenever you make a data set into a table format, now it does not contain a relative or absolute reference, but now it been, has been turned into an unstructured reference. So for example, if I press equal sign, and if I go to any cell inside a table, you can see that now it's not showing me X3. Instead, it shows me table name first and the column name, which is the shipping fee. Now this is table one is the default name whenever you make table for the very first time in Microsoft Excel, you will see a default name, which is table one. Uh, you can rename this table, go to table design and on the left side, you can see it's written table name, which is default. So for example, if I write sales database and press the enter key. Now the next time when you call any uh, column or a cell from this table, now you can see that it's written sales database, which we have just renamed, right? Another best part of uh, converting this table is that when you get the table design tab, you can add a total raw so just check mark this total raw what it will do is it will insert a raw with of total at the end of a data set and what you can do is you can get the quick aggregations of your uh, columns where you have the amounts okay so for example if i want to uh, have have a revenue total so i, I can just open this drop down menu and i can select sum so quickly i will get some instead of writing the sum function uh, if I want to calculate the average, I can just click on average and I will get the average. So this is beautiful option of this uh, table design. You can also uh, change the color scheme if you want. Uh, if you don't want any color scheme, go back to the none option available. You can have medium color schemes, you have dark color scheme. Even when you click on new table style, you can customize your own formatting of for the table as well. So each and every of, uh, element of the table uh, you can customize go to format and uh, select the color or a border or a font type you want so you can have your own customization regarding the table styles right anything which is changed uh, you can click on refresh then you have all the formatting options table options styles available here so this is the best part of uh, table and for example if i let's suppose if i uh, use the sum function to total the revenue so i will select the entire column of revenue here and bracket close so i got 438 so now here you don't see something like the relative references ranges right you you see the 
table name first and the column name first now for example if a new row has been added at the bottom for example uh, let's see again the current total revenue which is 438636 and let's suppose if i add one more transactions below it it will automatically become a part of this uh, table range and the best part is that if i add a, add an amount for example a bigger amount to just cross check that our uh, formula has been formula output has been updated or not so you can see that it's updated automatically so now you can compare it if we don't make any data set into a table format and we have applied some uh, or we are extracting some numbers out of that uh, with the relative or either absolute references we need to again change those references or ranges revise the ranges but in the table format the advantage is is there when your data gets append appends mean that your data gets increased with the passage of time so for example this particular entire data is of two months and in the next month you get another data and you just paste it below it make sure there is there should be no gap okay so when you paste just below next row it will become a part of your table and your all the numbers which you are using a uh, functions for that that gets updated so that's the beauty of uh, making a knowledge into a table so that our other cell references in terms of formulas gets updated automatically right so this is the uh, this is the feature of excel tables and you can explore after this video all other features Thank you.